it was also mentioned on this app that I'm going to be having breast and his contraction during my third trimester. And when I started having it, I knew, okay, that's normal for third trimester. I never knew I was going to do this video, okay? I was contemplating whether to do this video or not, but I just decided to do it because I don't have a lot of community. So I feel like, why am I making this video? But yeah, we are here. You are welcome or welcome back to my channel, by the way. My name is Bright AC and I am a mom YouTuber based in Oweri, Imo State, Nigeria and i am also expecting baby number two so i am going to be sharing with you on this video my third trimester experience updates symptoms or yeah so you are at the right place okay and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do so while you are watching this video okay if you are hearing any background noise my baby boy is around so <laughs> from time to time you may be hearing his little tiny voice okay just bear with us all right i wouldn't want this video to be a long one so i'll just go straight to the point this is not my second pregnancy but this is going to be my second baby okay that's a story for another day <laughs> okay <laughs> that's a story for another day every pregnancy is different for sure and because I have experienced it the first time, I know what it is during the third trimester and I know the difference between what I feel now and what I felt during my first pregnancy. Seriously, these few weeks or these few days, I've been feeling so tired, really, really tired, tired in that it has written it has gotten to a point that i am exhausted okay something that i normally do i look at it these days and i'm just moping at it i can't do it anymore my first pregnancy it was not this serious i know that i was tired during the third trimester but i was not so tired to the point of being exhausted that something that is not too far from me i feel so weak to even go get that thing that is the situation that i am on this time this time around some days i woke up and i feel like i wish there is nowhere to go but what will i do i am a working mom so i definitely have to go to work this is how serious it is and it's not funny it's not funny someone that will not understand may say that you are you are lazy but some of us that we are very active when we were not pregnant you know that this is just because of the pregnancy okay this third trimester is really really serious then another thing i feel so much is nausea I know that feeling nausea is very normal in pregnancy, but I feel like it's during the first trimester, okay? At the course of my first baby, it was during the first trimester. I never felt nauseous at the end of the journey or getting to the end of the journey. I didn't feel nauseous, okay? Even during the first trimester of my baby boy, B Joy, I only felt like throwing up just twice. I think twice or three times, it wasn't more than three times throughout the pregnancy, nine months pregnancy journey. That was how simple it was for me and I felt like I'm not someone that is so nauseous during pregnancy, like vomiting and all that. But this particular one, at this third trimester, I feel like some days I... I once in a while i throw up like i don't know what is motive what is <laughs> i'm about to say motivating i don't know what is prompting that but i feel like sometimes i i i feel like to throw up okay not like i feel like to throw up i throw up i'll be using hand fan guys because i am sweating hmm? i am sweating maybe because of these clothes that i'm putting on but it's really hot normal normal is very hot so i feel like throwing up and i didn't know that it's it's because i 
researched online and I saw some of the mothers saying they also threw up during the third trimester. That's why I'm seeing it as normal. I was almost being scared. Why am I throwing up at the end? It's not something that I am used to. That is that, okay? And another thing that I feel is pains. Like, I feel back pain, leg cramps, and pelvic pain. This period, I feel pelvic pain, seriously. Okay, maybe because the baby has descended to down there and is pressing so much and making a lot of movements. I feel like to urinate often. To urinate so often even in my first pregnancy i i felt that but this pelvic pain was very very serious this one is very 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 serious because sometimes when i want to change position while lying on the bed i feel that that's pain and it's 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 not it's serious okay but i know that at the end it will be worth it definitely it's going to be worth it yeah <laughs> So another thing that I I feel these days is I struggle like I struggle finding a better position to sleep at night or at any point in time during the day I find it difficult to find a better position I know that we are asked to sleep on our left but even in my first pregnancy I kept I keep referring to my first pregnancy yeah even in my first pregnancy I was not always lying on my left because it was not that comfortable for me. It was my back that was comfortable. So I swap, I change it. When I, when I sleep left, I also sleep right and all other stuff like that. And it didn't have any side effects on me. I just found a better position for myself. But these days, finding a position for myself is really, really struggle. Sometimes I keep a, I have to keep a pillow at my back or put a pillow in between my legs before I'll be able to sleep. And even at that, I feel like I am tired of lying down, but I am feeling sleepy, even at night. So this makes me not to find a, a lot of sleep like I wish to, unless I, I lie on my back on that better position for me but i know they medically they said we shouldn't do that okay that is that to get up from the bed is really really a struggle to me right now it's a struggle to me right now and i can't wait for all this to be over okay i can't wait for all this to be over mom we are really going through a lot to bring out life into this world and i thank god that at the end it is going to what it's now the next thing that is really giving me serious like i'll say it's, it's a serious symptom or a serious experience during this the trimester is Brexton his contraction. I'm going to leave it on the screen. This Brexton his contraction. I get to know about it during my first baby because when I was having it, I thought it was early labor. So I had to check online. I had to go to the hospital and I was told it's Brexton his. And there's an app that I normally use on my phone. So this app helps me to know what is normal and what is not. It was also mentioned on this app that I'm going to be having resting his contraction during my third trimester. And when I started having it, I knew, okay, that's normal for third trimester. So these few days, these few weeks, I started experiencing that. And I saw it as normal until some few days ago. I, it was so severe and baby was making a lot of movements and but then it later subsided. That is what I experienced on this third trimester. And it's really, really, really not easy on me. This video, I didn't want it to go that far. So I have to summarize everything within this few minutes. So that it will not take a long time. Also, that I will not prolong this video. Okay? And these symptoms could be normal for many pregnant women all right these are the ones that i see that are serious that are really really giving me um <laughs> serious uh, that is really a serious experience to me okay so that is it and i appreciate you for watching if you watch to this point i really appreciate you 
thank you and i would like to see you in my next video like this video subscribe to my channel and bye